with another video now i just got this awesome package from a youtuber peak time racing you guys all know and love he sent me generously one of these bugatti shoe-ons because i did not get one of them in my case and i unboxed it and oh my gosh is it beautiful so i thought it would be only fair to get, pick out six or 15 other hypercars to go up against the bugatti shiron see how fast it really is down the six lane track this is going to be exciting so the way this tournament's gonna work is it's not really gonna be a normal tournament in the common sense. We have the Bugatti Chiron, as you know, and we're gonna see how fast it compares on the six lane to the rest of the hypercars that I use in my video. So for instance, we have the McLaren Senna here. We're gonna race the Bugatti Chiron against all of these cars, see what cars are faster, see what cars are slower, and we will go from there. Super six lanes all set up. Let's get started. Here we go. Is the Senna faster than the Bugatti? We're about to find out. Three, two, one. And take a look at that. The McLaren Senna is indeed faster than the Bugatti Chiron. Something that I noticed with the Bugatti Chiron is the front end of it is really wide, but whereas the back of the car isn't as wide. I don't know if that affects performance at all, but our next two cars are the Maserati MC12 versus the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento going up against the Lamborghini Chiron. Three, two, one. Look at that, and the Bugatti Chiron is faster than both the Maserati and the, and the Lamborghini. Hold on real quick, I want to see if it was just the lane preventing the Chiron from beating the Senna. Nope, Senna's still faster. Next up we have the Mitsuoka Orochi, a Japanese hypercar made from Tomica. Then we have the Infinity Concept car from Majorette going up against the Hot Wheels Bugatti Chiron. Three, two, one. And it looks like the Shiron is going to take the win. Next up, we have some super fast hypercars, not just in real life, but in Hot Wheels versions as well. The Pagani Choir and the Clown are both super fast Hot Wheels. Let's see if they can beat the Bugatti. Three, two, one. It's going to be close, that, but that Bugatti Chiron is actually a lot faster than I thought. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Veneno and the Lamborghini Centenario. The Centenario is from Tomica, but wait a second. I think it'd only be fair if we got the Hot Wheels Centenario in here as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Look at that. The Bugatti beats out both Centenarios and the Lamborghini Veneno. This thing is actually very quick. Next up, we've got the notoriously fast Lamborghini Aventador and the Lycan Hypersport against the Bugatti. Three, two, one. It's gonna be close, but the Bugatti surprisingly beats the king of the downhill, the Lamborghini Aventador. I was not expecting that one bit. All right, this is where the Bugatti might lose a race. The Ferrari FXX is a blazing fast Hot Wheel. La Ferrari, not so much, but the FXX might put the Bugatti in its place. Three, two, one. And there you have it, the Ferrari FXX is one of the only cars other than the Senna to beat the Bugatti. And for one of our final races, we're getting down to the wire, the last of the Hot Wheels hypercars. We got the Porsche 918 Spyder and the McLaren 720S against the Chiron. Three, two, one. And that Shiron's got him beat. The Shiron's super fast on the downhill and the acceleration, probably because of that all-wheel drive. But man, this thing's quick. I think it's only fair if we pit for the final race, the Bugatti Shiron against his older brother, the Bugatti Veyron. Who is going to take out the Veyron's fast on the downhill? Can the Shiron beat him? Here we go in three, two, one. Look at that speed! They are both like almost exactly the same speed. That is insane. The Veyron managed to sneak the win away from the Chiron, but man, I was not expecting that. That was a good race. So there you have it, folks. That proves the Bugatti Chiron is actually extremely quick. As you can see, we only had three cars to beat the Chiron, the Ferrari FXX, and the McLaren Senna, and the Bugatti Veyron. All of these other hypercars that I use in my videos 
were not fast enough, which was surprising. I was expecting the Maserati to be super fast. I was expecting the Pagani to be super fast and beat the Bugatti, but I was incorrect there. Wow, that is that is some super surprising stuff. This model has everything, good looks and speed. Would you take a look at that? Once again, huge shout out to Peak Time Racing for giving me this model since I was unfortunate to, enough to get no Bugatti in my end case, which was super weird. I was talking to Granitories and it appears that the Bugatti was only in like one out of every four cases. So this car is almost super rarity. Uh, as in like super treasure hunt rarity, but I, I, I can see why this thing is absolutely beautiful Stunning in blue. I really really cannot wait for the recolors of this car and this thing is just it's just so beautiful I, I cannot believe Hot Wheels got the Bugatti license back I am so happy about this car and it's super fast too against these other hyper cars So thank you guys so much for watching this review slash race or whatever you want to call it tournament hope you enjoyed it we're gonna see this bugatti on the fat track a lot in the future so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy peace